Hi, guys. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to one of the main events of the cycling season, the mythical Paris-Roubaix. With its flat terrain and numerous cobbled sectors, this classic offers an atypical route where a rider's condition is as important as luck if he is to hope for victory. As every year, there's likely to be a fierce battle to join the morning breakaway. Indeed, given the vagaries created by the cobblestones, it's not uncommon to see the morning breakaway hold off the favourites for the best part of the race, and sometimes even fight for the podium places. The time gap with the head of the race is stable. There's a good few people at the front of the race. That must be why he's pushing his team. One minute for the breakaway. It's looking good. The time gap with the head of the race is stable. Time difference between the peloton and the breakaway is steady. The breakaway is losing ground. The head of the race has one and a half minutes lead on the peloton. Sectors are numbered in decreasing order. The last sector bears the number one. The sectors are classified according to a system of stars and colors. The most difficult crops are rated as five stars and are recognizable by the black markers that designate the entry. is on to the first four stars more than 3,400 meters long and ending in a rising falls flat. Some riders could already be in difficulty.
Last time checked with a breakaway. One minute. At the end of the next sector, the riders will reach the first feed zone. A few moments of rest before facing the remaining 23 sectors. Here we go again. From Vertin to saint martin sur a 2,300 meter sector is awaiting the riders. The peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. The head of the race is one and a half minutes lead on the peloton. Another hundred kilometers for the front of the race. Tension will soon be at its maximum. With the trench of Arenberg coming up in a few kilometers, now's the time to move to the front. The next sector, from Wallers to Elaine, also known as the Pont Gibus, in honor of twice Paris-Roubaix winner Gilbert duclos lassalle is 1,600 meters long and is classified as difficulty level three out of five. The leading riders have now crossed half of the cobbled sectors. There are only 14 left. Sector 13 for the front of the race, 1,400 meters. In a few kilometers, it will be another key moment for the race with the more Pivel sector. However, before that, the four star sector 11 will have to be crossed. The leading riders are now onto a short sector, 700 meters between Berigny and Avon. The next sector, from Pont Thibault to Ennevelin, is 1,400 meters long and carries a three-star level of difficulty. A two-star sector is now on the menu. The difficulty... The sectors will then increase until the Carrefour de la. Less than 30 kilometers to go now for the head of the race and another six sectors to cross. Riders are now heading towards the Confin de Pivel and Carrefour de Larp sectors, both often proving, proving, proving. Now it's the Carrefour de Larp. With this is the last sector that really provides a chance to hurt one's opponents. Very often, the first rider out of the center goes on to win the Ruben.
Here is the last sector, 1,400 meters from Willems to Hem. When it's done, there will only be six kilometers left before reaching the velodrome. Ladies and gentlemen, I want an ovation for the champion who is a...